Hey Carson. Uh, yeah? Ask me if the Galil is a funny gun. Hey, is the Galil a funny gun? Galil. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst joke you've ever made. I can't believe you just stole my gun and died. You're a little bit oh. shit at this game, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what do you think lactose intolerant people do? They just have to dunk their Oreos in a glass of water. I don't think they can eat Oreos, period. Yeah, you have a point, actually. You guys know that Kashi 69? Just eat the Oreos and then fucking use an EpiPen, dude. It's a perfect workaround. And then you and then you turn to them and say, Hey, your name is Crunchy Healing, huh? You could start up a salad company. I don't even know what's funny about that, but it's something funny. It's very funny. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. That's All right, I'm going through a crisis right now. I can't handle the fact that my grandpa is now a muffin. And here you are talking about the fact that Speckles is a fucking mole. Do you think I care right now, kid? I don't fucking care. I'm reading his eulogy and crying. On his gravestone, they're going to engrave, he was a muffin. How do you think that makes me feel? <laughs> Must uh, suck. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Yeah, what he said. Alright guys, welcome to Surfing 101. I'll be your instructor for today. Alright, can I shut the fuck up? We have a- We have a special guest! Shut up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why? Why is my forehead? Why? You're the one that was screaming next stage. I assume that you would be the most ahead of everybody in the class. Next stage! I'm not gonna lie, that was very intense. That was a lot of pressure. I was calling you my fucking dad. If you were to- <laughs> I'll check out my choker. I'll check out my choker okay. really quick. All right. I'll be back. Okay, okay, fair enough. You wear a choker? What are you, Timmy Thick? <laughs> I want to date a girl that has smoked so many cigarettes that she has a hole in her throat so I can get my dick even farther down there, you know? <laughs> you just start storing your things in there. She just walks around. <laughs> hey, honey, have you seen my wallet? Yeah, it's in my fucking throat. <laughs> There's this one kid in one of my classes that got sent to the nurse's office for getting his dick caught in a clipboard. <laughs> Takashi69 looks like a humanized Care Bear. <laughs> we used to have a class called pa a Passion Project, and it was literally the most cancerous thing ever. You literally pick something that you want, you want to do, and you do that the entire year. And it's gay. But so like, I could take Passion Project and it. say that my passion is jerking off and just every day in class squeeze one out <laughs> under the desk and get an A+. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you could. Girls that play games? Yeah, I know what you mean, dude. I love girls that play hopscotch. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite game to play is see how long you can keep your hand inside of the waffle iron. <laughs> Eugenia Cooney, the uh, the anorexic YouTuber. I oh just, yeah, 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 oh, wait, yeah, wait, 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 talking about yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, did you guys hear that she got sent to the ER for getting her torso stuck in a tuning fork? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if she was anorexic at first, so I tossed her an <laughs> onion ring to see if she would eat it or use it as a hula hoop. <laughs> Seven viewers, someone streaming. Yeah, probably the retard with the voice changer. <laughs> I just think some things have a voice changer. I don't like that word. You are so adorable, Yellow. I gotta say, you seem like the kind of fucking retard that would try to help a car cross the street, to be honest. <laughs> it's a fucking Bill's got. bad moment whenever you call the suicide hotline number and then just fucking logic picks up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my grandma shot herself. Wait, so y who who just said they're 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 gr <laughs> they can't laugh at that. <laughs> so why are we laughing right now? This is a pretty song. I'm really sorry to hear that your grandma. Sh I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Imagine if that was a Twitter account, Daily Dead Dogs. <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> people dead daily. How do they execute retards? Oh. In the electric wheelchair. Oh my god. Sometimes I nut in my rain gutter and try and see how far it will go. Yeah. Fuck I did that nimbus. once and then lo and behold, the fucking TMNT was born. <laughs> I hate when, like, girls come to my door and they're like, Hey, you wanna buy some Girl Scout cookies? And I'm like, yeah, the weed. And then they just leave. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I need some, like, real Girl Scout cookies. If you don't put them in the freezer, then you shouldn't. Oh, know. hell yeah, yeah, dude. What, put a Girl Scout in the freezer? Wait. <laughs> Alexa, set a bomb for 3 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> you guys ever rubbed a fucking blob of Play-Doh against a cheese grater? <laughs> Do you think you could jerk off three people at once with a bowling ball? <laughs> there's, n there there's, n there's no joke, I'm just giving you all my pistol. Oh. There you go. One, hey, it's one. a Sandy Hook on it! Hey! Uh, yeah, I remember Sandy Hook, that was my favorite episode of Earth. <laughs> yeah, 9-11 was a pilot episode. <laughs> what if they keep updating the Apple logo every like 30 years to take another bite out of the Apple? And then by the time it's like 2200, their logo is just a fucking apple core. <laughs> what happens when it gets the apple core? What, what, where do they go from there? I don't know, they start sucking on the stem. <laughs> <laughs> what, sucking on the stem? What the fuck? <laughs> Three Jews walked into like a like bar. An I lied. It was a gas chambers. I bet you will put your gum on the top of the desk. A specific ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hooker in a hotel room and I swiped my credit card through her pussy and I got charged for child support. I was a loaf of celery at one point, then I was a loaf of beans. I feel like a loaf of beans is where you just dump out the entire can of beans and it's still in a can shape. <laughs> You're a loaf of bowling balls or something? <laughs> Are you sick and tired of your avocados rolling off the counter? Then buy yourself an avocado stapler and staple those fuckers together. <laughs> now they're not going anywhere. The dumbest it's, product. It's so dumb. <laughs> 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 Jesus. No, I just like the fucking daddy, nigga. That's what I do, bro. He what the fuck is this? Like, he does that for a hundred dollars a day. No, I do it for free, man. Your daddy cute, man. You got a hairy butthole. <laughs> <laughs> no, Trump is sexy as hell, bro. I would fuck Trump in the dick. <laughs> Dude, he's got nothing. Donald Trump is built like a shattered lava lamp. <laughs> he's he's got up, the nigga. You probably eat popcorn with a spoon, ugly nigga. Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> you probably carve jack o' lanterns screen. with a can opener. <laughs> bro, I was, I was, can I put my little brother on the mic? Hey. Hey, yeah. shut the fuck uh, up. I would love to hear you, little bro. Put hey. him on. Alright, let me put him on. Hey. Okay, it's high versus whatever the other fuck's name is. I bet when they're fighting on the ground, it's gonna look like a fucking yin and yang symbol. <laughs> this one time I went on a hike with my friend, and he brought a large Ziploc bag of trail mix. And uh, he went off to take a leak by a tree, and I, I jacked his trail mix, and I went behind a tree myself, and I squeezed one out really quick, and I busted a nut inside of his trail mix. And when he came back, he said, what's this, melted white chocolate? And I said, no, I just felt like your trail mix wasn't diverse enough. And I wanted to give you another kind of nut in your trail mix to be a good friend. And he looked at me and a tear fell down his cheek and he said, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. You're, you're really the best friend I could have ever asked for. And he gobbled up that trail mix without a second thought. And well, that was one of the greatest days of my life. And I really bonded with that friend that day. And to this day, we still text back and forth. And we reminisce about those days where he ate my fucking nut. The end. <laughs> you could do that. You could, like, call your boss and be like, Hey, I can't come into work. I have this holiday. And just say something that's complete bullshit, but he has to believe you because it's, like, your religious belief. What if he's like, dude, uh, Yeah, why like can't tomorrow. you come into work? Oh, I'm celebrating a jerk off a horse day. It's for my religion. <laughs> <laughs>
When you're like, I don't slap the dick out of your mouth. Why the hell do I have a dick in my mouth in the first place? Because you're a prostitute and that's your job. I can't believe okay. I have to explain you your job to this? you. Now, moving <laughs> on. Any Anytime I stream, I yeah, always I tape a sticky video. note to my front door that says nobody's home. Just in case, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they still knock anyways, just in case. I would just answer the door and be like, can't you see the sign, dipshit? <laughs> I like taping a kebab yes. skewer to the front of my car and then fucking going 50 miles per hour through a school zone and trying to make a Wait kebab. A <laughs> yeah, sorry, I spaced out. I was taking a hit of some mids. What are we talking about? You smoke a bean? Yeah, a coffee bean. No, you smoke a bean. <laughs> Every time I see an Asian put a coin in a vending machine, it's like they're having a oh. steering contest. I fucking hit it around. I hope that you get on a train and the train catches fire. I hope you get on an elevator and just falls. Every time I see an Asian put a coin in a vending machine, it's like they're having a steering contest. I fucking hit it around. I hope that you get on a train and the train catches fire. I hope you get on an elevator and just falls. I like trying to bust a nut and have it land perfectly in the center of my belly button, but it's really hard to to nail the trajectory. You know, I gotta get that down still. It really is. I'm also scared that one of these times I'll accidentally come and it'll just land right back in my dick and I'll get pregnant. <laughs> I hope that you get hepatitis F. I hope you get hepatitis L, so you lose every rap battle. <laughs> that was a good one. I can't believe that people that were born in 2015 are gonna be 13 years old next year. Fetty Wap sucks donkey dick. Wait, Fetty Wap, isn't that a kind of cheese? No you, no you. <laughs> Alright, so, this is the story of how my old man lost his life to the Great War. I still remember the cold, lifeless stare he would give me as he creeped back and forth in his rocking chair, his eyes filled with the victims of war. No, he didn't lose his life on the battlefield, but he lost just about everything else. His personality, his ability to speak, and most of all, his happiness. I wasn't even sure if he recognized me half the time. It was as if a complete stranger had taken refuge in our living room. Just a cold, lifeless husk with moons under his eyes and a pair of cheekbones screaming with malnutrition as he sat there, all alone, downing bottle after bottle of whiskey just so that he could feel something. I knew that even if he could no longer speak, that, that my old dad was probably still in there somewhere. The dad that used to explode with charisma and positivity no matter what the circumstances. You know, the dad that would take me to the park and push me on the swing until his arms got tired and we'd fall over together in the grass. Even when he first got drafted, he seemed so invincible, like no amount of war would ever be able to change him. Even though, I knew deep down he was probably scared. The day he left, he made a joke along the lines of, If there is a God out there, may he have mercy on my soul. If he only knew how tragically ironic that was. Many years went by and my mother became deathly ill, bedbound with a jarring flu that only seemed to get worse every day. Her, neighbor, her neighbors would sometimes stop by with homemade medicines and antidotes, but as the days passed, they started to show up less and less. I think it's because they started to realize it was futile. And the day I found my mother dead was the day I was catapulted out of my childhood. I buried her with a handful of tulips from our garden, but for some reason I never shed a single tear. Before she had passed, she had baked an apple pie and let it cool on the kitchen windowsill, hoping the fragrance would help guide my father back home. The very same day my mother died was the last day. So I guess I'll show a small penis. Exactly. And I looked in the mirror and I started nice. crying because I realized that, despite all these tragedies in life, I still had a tiny ass dick and I would never be able to recover. And that was really, truly, the saddest thing of all. 